Good morning guys and welcome to this vlog. This is the first vlog of the America trip. So we are three weeks out from the Mr. Olympia and we're down here at Terminal 5 in Heathrow very, very early ahead of our flight to New York. So me and Johnny, look at this. I don't know if you can read that. Mr. O. <laughs> I'm with Mr. Olympia. Uh, so Johnny's with me um, and we are heading out to New York, uh, to JFK um, and yeah, it's prep time. The last last three weeks of prep, um, I say prep time, I've been prepping for 15 weeks, but I mean it's the last three weeks of prep and we're going to like knuckle down and smash it in, uh, in New York. A lot of distractions at home with family life, business, that sort of thing, but uh, when, when I'm over there there's nothing else but training, sleeping, recovery that sort of thing um, and it was invaluable last year that's why we're doing it this year so um, I'm starving hungry we've been up since two o'clock it is six o'clock now so it's three hours to get down here um, but yeah I'm excited can't wait to get over there get settled let's get to work Right guys, we made it onto the plane. Got my pajamas, which is the main thing because I am going to bed. <laughs> Even got my melatonin because I'm not sleeping very well. As you all know, I've had a lot of sleep insomnia this last few weeks and I'm determined to get some sleep on this flight. So, peace out, I'll see you in New York. We made it. We're here in Glen Cove, which is a little bit further than we thought from Syosair. <laughs> um, I stopped here last year, I stopped in Westbury, which is a bit of a gangster land, but it was about seven to 10 minute drive. Um, we just got here, worked out our process. It's about 20 minutes in it. We should work out if we're doing that three times a day, that's two hours worth of driving every day, but we'll make it work because we're here and we're gonna be at our best come three weeks. I'm starving, I've had no carbs all day. It is about half past four here in New York. I've had no carbs all day, I'm really hungry. So we're gonna get some oats in us, we're gonna go shopping, then we're gonna get to Bev's gym and get training. Let's go. So we're just getting set up now. My new pre-workout, had to bring that all the way to the States. Last three weeks, push. Chocolate orange, hoo hoo hoo. Strawberry and lime EAAs and a big bowl of porridge there. Chocolate orange. Um, and then yeah, we're gonna head out and go and get some food and train. Johnny, where the hell did you tell us to book this Airbnb? In the arse end of nowhere. <laughs> very rural, very uh, family orientated. We cap on backwards. He's been in America two hours, he's got cap on backwards. Yeah, dude. Yeah. How much? One thirty for water. <laughs> Let's do this. How are you feeling, Johnny? Tired. Probably need to pick me up. Yeah, I saw he's bought all energy drinks already. 
Yeah. That this will end up being the vlog, won't it? Uh, the trip out here is going to be about all these different energy drinks he takes. <laughs> I, on the other hand, will not be water and peppermint tea. That is my go-to. A bit of coffee in the morning, actually. That is something I cannot wait for, actually. American coffee. American black coffee in the morning. <sighs> Blows your tits off. To next, Bev's gym. <laughs> oh, what's my eggs gone? <laughs> Great. So, we're back at the apartment and we've finished grocery shopping. Got to call it groceries because we're in the States now. Um, UK it's food shopping over here, it's grocery shopping. Um, I've got all my nutrition solutions. <laughs> Johnny's trying to work out the toaster for his Nutella bagels. Yeah, we'll go into that in a minute. But um, yeah, we've got all my nutrition solutions meals coming tomorrow, but it's just to tide me over till then. So we went shopping. I've got some salmon fillets, some turkey breast, avocados. You need always need avocados. A lot of asparagus. We've got courgettes in the UK, zucchinis over here. I'm going to tell you about that in the morning. He's a game changer in the morning. Uh, a lot of avocados again. Uh, what else we got? I'll put most of it away now. Let's have a look what Johnny's got. Oh, in fact, yeah, let's have a look here. So, as you can see, got all my eggs. We've got 36 eggs, water. That's all I've got. And then we've got, that's not too bad. We've got sugar-free Dr. Pepper. I'm not on them though. They're all Johnny's. He's got his posh water. Which is good is salami, I think, is it? Bacon. Bacon. Yeah. Then my apples. Got his apples, good lad. Got his bagels. Then he's got. Oh, no, 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 no. These do look good, to be fair. They're very nice. It tastes like ice cream. Does it really? It tastes like yeah, ice cream. Shop chip ice cream. You come all the way to the States and you have more televisions. Walking around that supermarket, you could have had absolutely anything. Yeah, but every time we go to America, I have ra ra raisin bagels and. He's, he's panicking, he's panicking, guys. He's panicking. He should be panicking. Hit him up. Good morning, guys. Right, so I've got to be quiet because Johnny is still asleep. It is, I don't know if you can see there, I've got, of course, it's face detecting 3.58, so it's 4 a.m. As promised, I knew I'd be up. The gym opens in two minutes, so I'm gonna head down, get my cardio done, abs, weigh in, um, stretching, and just get into this morning routine. Last year, it was invaluable, the morning routine I did. I was down there about two hours each day. I did 30 minutes stretching, 30 minutes posing routine, 30 minutes cardio, and 30 minutes like ice attention, abdominal work, and I really felt it brought my physique on um, a lot. So I want to get back into that routine. I know there's a lot of work ahead. It's going to be a hard graft. I'm even not dreading it, but thinking this all over again. But I know it's what we need to do. First things first, though. <sighs> coffee. I need a coffee. Um, so I'm going to get black coffee in me. Um, I will quickly show you what I made last night. So I've got my breakfast, which I will take to the gym with me. In here, we have oats, zucchini, courgettes, blueberry, almond butter's not in there yet, but it will go in there. Um, I know it sounds weird saying courgette, but it's, a, it's something I, I, I came across years ago in, in America. You call it zotes, zucchini and oats. And honestly, don't knock it till you've tried it um, because it sounds weird, but what it does, it just makes the oats span out more and it makes it quite creamy. So um, it's just not what you expect it to taste like, but it tastes lovely, but just gives the illusion of a lot more food. It's a bit more fiber in there, you're getting your greens in there but it feels like the oats are 10 times more. So I'm doing low carbs this week, so I'm halving the oats, but adding the zucchini in, which kind of fills it out. So um, 
yeah, that's pretty cool. Got a silly amount of water to take with me. I've got impact EAAs, which I will be taking on the way to the gym and during my workouts. And then I've got the impact whey protein. You've seen a million times, but I'll show you again. Impact whey protein. That'll be going in my oats post workout. Right, let's do this. Sign that to me, young man. It's okay. Yeah, take it. Take your time. There's no one here. It's quiet. Thank you, love. Okay. Yeah, you said that. I just woke up at 3:30. I was yeah. up at one, so there is that. I went to bed at ten. I was up at like twelve, something like that. Just been sat around waiting. <laughs> and got to go. Oh well, you could have come at two thirty. Yeah, I was there. <laughs> I don't know. I'd have been there. I was here.
Right, so that is my first morning session done. Um, it is 6.30, been here two hours. Um, but yeah, got everything I wanted to do done. This is what I have been like focusing on most of my prep, It's being out here. When I finish, the, the gym's buzzing, it's full of life now, um, and I can have my oats. And I can just sit here in peace and just savour it all, take it all in, and then just enjoy being in a bodybuilding like, environment. You can just smell the sweat, you can hear people shouting, the weight's climbing. And I absolutely love it. I love it. I can't wait to come back already to train uh, back later today. But as you saw earlier, I didn't talk about it, but my weight is 205. I was 208 when I set off yesterday, so I've dropped three pounds on the travel over here. A lot of people put it on with water retention. I've actually, um, I've lost it. I drank about nine liters of water on the flight and going um, in total. And I went near enough zero carbs. Um, it was all just like chicken was quite low in fats as well. So the calorie intake was, was very low in fact. Um, I am gonna manipulate a bit more. I'm gonna change a bit today. Um, because of that weight drop, that was a, a big weight drop. Um, but we are eight, 19 days out and with, with, with three pounds over the stage weight, so it's not a bad place to be. Um, obviously, you've got to be careful you don't go too far, ramping metabolism up and start just chipping away at muscle because that's not what you want. Last year, I was bang on the stage weight, 202. Um, so, yeah, I don't really want to jeopardize going any lower because that's what won it last year. So, yeah, in a good spot. And then we're going to get on with the date very soon. I'm going to go back, might have a little power nap, and then come back. Yes, I'll power nap. Cheers, guys.